Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, I asked you one interview question and the question was you have to implement a full header using half headers and the area should be minimum area. Many of you tried to answer it in the comment section, but here I am going to reveal it in this video. I will implement full header using half headers and now without wasting much time, let us get started. Friends, in our previous video, we saw that the expression for sum is x or b x or c and c out has two expressions possible. One is ab plus bc plus ca and another one is x or b into c in plus ab. And this is the implementation of this third expression. Some expression remains same. Now my question was how to implement a full header using two half headers. We will use these expressions only. Before proceeding to the solution, let us see what is a half header. Half header has two inputs A and B, two outputs sum and carry and these are two expressions. Sum is equal to A or B, carry is equal to A B and this is its truth table. I am not going to dig into the details that how these expressions are formed. I assume that you already know it. If any type of details you want to cover in detail, please write it down in the comment section. Maybe in the upcoming videos we can cover. But that is not the intention of the current video. Now let us see how we will implement full header using half headers. Friends, this is the final implementation of a full header using half headers. Here we need two half headers and one OR gate. So this is the minimum area that we need. If we see the expressions of half header very carefully, sum is equal to A x or B. And if we see the expression of full header, sum is equal to A x or B x or C in. That means if we use first half header, it will give us A x or B. That is sum and carry will give us a b. Now if I put another half header, if I apply a x or b to that, it will give me its final value of sum a x or b x or c at the same bit. Now what will be the carry bit? a x or b into c in, c in because it multiplies right and the other half header will give a b because it multiplies both the inputs. Now if you see the carry expression, carry expression is x or b c in which is this only output of second half header, another is plus a b, a b is output of first half header, we need to put an or gate here to get the final c out. That is the reason we drive the expression for c out like this so that we can implement full header using half headers with minimum media. Friends, I hope that the concept is clear to you now and with this I am going to end this video. If you also like this video, please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your time.